with y'all, man? It's your boy, Doom. Doom has joined the chat. And today is the same day I reacted to the last video. Now, if you didn't see that, I will put the link to that video in the description down below. But today, we finna watch some more mysterious unsolved cases. So bear with me. It's only gonna be five of them today. Five mysterious unsolved cases with video footage. So we got some, we got some, um, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna work this out together and we gonna, um, get up. So yeah, man, if you're new to me, we on our way to 200 subs, man. Hit that subscribe button, share with y'all friends. And let's get right into the video, man. I ain't gonna be talking too much. This is by Fact Fiction. Shout out to Fact Fiction. We got five mysterious unsolved cases with video footage. Video footage. We finna crack this with our own eyes. Our own eyes. We finna solve this, and we finna get millions of dollars. So make sure y'all bear with me, watch to the end of the video, and let's go. I bet. We got this, y'all. We finna solve these. Only five of them. With video footage. With video footage. From an 11-year-old case that still remains unexplained to the mysterious death of a teenage boy in his own school, here are five mysterious unsolved cases. Number one, Maura Murray's disappearance. On February 9th, 2004, 21-year-old Maura Murray was reported missing after her smashed car was found on Route 112 in Haverhill, New Hampshire. Maura left college earlier that day and told her professors that she would have to take a week off as she had a family emergency. However, it later turned out that no family emergency existed. Due to this fact, investigators suggested that she may have just wanted to disappear. However, her family strongly disagreed and believed that she was abducted. In 2012, a number of videos surfaced on YouTube, uploaded by a user named Mr. 112 Dirtbag. One of the videos show a sadistic looking man looking directly into the camera and uncontrollably laughing. The video then ends with the words, happy anniversary. The video was uploaded on the eighth year anniversary of Maura Murray's disappearance. Other strange videos were uploaded to the YouTube channel that seemed to be related to Maura's disappearance one of which showed a ski pass to Bretton Hills Mountain Resort, just two miles from where Mora's car was found and is dated two days after Mora disappeared. Another video shows the same man from the first video. This time he is playing a song on a keyboard and towards the end of the video, this cryptic image is shown. What the hell? Mr. 112 Dirtbag's username is relevant to the case because 112 was the route that Maura disappeared on, and Dirtbag is what her father called the kidnappers when he was interviewed on TV. The channel was quickly removed by YouTube, however one person managed to save a copy of the videos. Alden Olson was supposedly identified as the laughing man and was interviewed by investigators, but they had no evidence to arrest him. However, this has not been officially confirmed. Maura Murray is still missing nearly 12 years later. Whether she decided to run away from her issues at home or she was abducted, the case still remains a mystery. No. She did. Ain't no way running around that. I'm sorry, y'all. We can't solve the week. I can't solve the first mystery. She gone. If I was if I was police, I would she dead. Call her parents. Hello? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh we can't find your daughter. Yeah, um, it's been it's been a dec more than a decade later. She's gone, so yeah. No hard feelings. She gone, bruh. Because I can't solve that. Let's go to the number two. Uh the Lars the Lars Matink mystery, man. Lucky, I'm lucky getting shook. I can't be no police or no detective. The Lars Matank mystery. In 2014, Lars Matank, a 28 year old German man, decided to go on holiday to Bulgaria with a group of his friends. Lars reportedly got into a fight with another man while on the beach and suffered a small injury to his ear. 
He was advised by a doctor not to fly due to the ruptured eardrum and was given prescription medication. At the end of the holiday, he decided to stay in Bulgaria for further treatment and told his friends they could leave without him. Now alone, Lars spent the night in a hotel. During this day, he contacted his mother in a panic and told her that he didn't feel safe, as he believed there were four men following him and told her she should cancel his credit card. The next morning, Lars visited the doctor's office inside the airport. Bizarrely, as soon as he was inside, he quickly jumped up and ran outside, leaving all of his possessions behind. What? What the? This CCTV footage shows Lars' final moments before disappearing without a trace. His family have said that he had no history of mental illness and are desperately searching for him. Some believe his strange behavior may have been due to a head injury that doctors didn't notice that caused the psychotic break. However, Lars has still not been found and his whereabouts are still unknown. If you have any information, please visit the website in the description. Number three, The Phoenix Light. Oh, what the f yeah. Man, he had something going on. He had something going on. He either saw something when he walked in there, or the little ear or the little ear injury was messing him up because ain't no way. He he was on his way back home, back to safety. He was on his way back to safety. Hear me out. Back to safety. And then he just turned around and just started. I don't know, man. Hey. Hello? Yeah, I can't find him neither. He dead too. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't find the second mystery neither. Whew, if I was ever a detective, I swear I'd get fired. <laughs> On the 13th of March, 1997, during the hours of 19.30 and 22.30, thousands of people saw a UFO sighting in Phoenix, Arizona and Sonora, Mexico. What Due to the, the amount of eyewitnesses, the event has been described as the most famous UFO sighting ever. The UFO first appeared in the sky in a triangular formation, roughly about the size of several football fields, that slowly and silently moved through the sky, blocking the stars as it passed over. Stationary lights were also witnessed. The official explanation from the government is that the UFO was just flares used for target practice. However, many people are not buying that and believe it was something more. That's weird. Two more sightings of the same or very similar UFO or UFOs were seen in 2007 and 2008. And on the 3rd of February, 2015, the Phoenix lights returned once again. recording gotta be blurry and stuff though like that's 2015 my guy you should have like a what what came out in 2015 better technology why why are your why are your cameras so blurry that's crazy Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Number four, 
the mysterious death of Alan Geo. Oh. On the 25th of February, this 2014, this at about 2 p.m., the naked body of 64-year-old Alan Geo was found on Perrinporth Beach in Cornwall, England. At first, it seemed like an open and shut suicide case. However, many odd things didn't add up to the investigators. Police managed to track Jill's movements up until 6.36 p.m., where he was last seen wandering the streets in Turo City Center, a day before his body was discovered. Bizarrely, investigators found a sock with earphones wrapped around, stuffed inside Jill's mouth. They also discovered a jacket, a wallet, and a picture of Jill when he was about two years old near to his body. A post-mortem examination found multiple injuries to his right hand, chest, and head, which are inconsistent with drowning. The jacket that was found was not the same jacket that Jill was wearing in the CCTV footage the previous day. Jill was described as a bit of a loner who enjoyed video games and going on long walks. Police are treating the case as suspicious, as they can't explain what exactly happened to him and how he ended up on the beach. Whether an accident, murder, or suicide, the case is still open and remains unexplained. Number five. Oh yeah, I don't know what Kendrick happened to that. Though. Johnson. The last case on our list is very strange to say the least and is surrounded by mystery. 17-year-old Kendrick Johnson's body was discovered on the 11th of January, 2013 in Loundes High School, Georgia. He was found headfirst in the center of a rolled up wrestling mat in the school's gym. An autopsy was carried out on Johnson's body to find the cause of death, which was concluded to be accidental with investigators saying he got stuck in the mat trying to retrieve a shoe and suffocated. What the f However, Johnson's family was not satisfied with the autopsy report and decided to hire a private pathologist to get a second opinion. This time, the autopsy report was different and was concluded that Johnson had died from blunt force trauma. The autopsy also reported of newspapers stuffed inside Johnson's body, as well as missing organs and missing clothing from the day of his death. Johnson's family now strongly believe that he was murdered and that there was a cover-up by the local police department. Uh. In November of 2013, 290 hours of CCTV footage from inside the school was released to CNN following a court request, which shows Johnson entering the gym moments before he died. However, over three hours of the footage was missing. Many other details about the case are very bizarre, including the size of the hole of the wrestling mat, which was 14.5 inches. However, Johnson's shoulders were 19 inches across, so how could he fit? As well as many other details that don't seem to add up. Two brothers, Brian and Brandon Bell, that were Johnson's classmates and that happened to be the sons of an FBI agent, are currently being questioned. As it turns out, they both had refused to be interviewed at the request of their father. And two years prior to the death, Johnson allegedly got into a fight with the younger brother. In 2015, Kendrick Johnson's family filed a $100 million civil lawsuit against 38 individuals. They are desperately trying to seek answers as to how and why Kendrick Johnson lost his life. Who y'all looking at? All right, y'all, that's, that's it. Um, that's, uh, oh my God. I'm not watching that. If y'all see, I'm not watching that. Um, mm, shoot. Uh, y'all made it all the way to the end of the video make sure you hit that like button man we on our way to 200 share with y'all friends hit that subscribe button i'm down for the day I, I did two reaction videos today two reaction videos today and also y'all i got an ep coming soon you know what i'm saying i got an ep coming soon that's gonna drop i don't have a specific date yet but I'm, i got two more songs left i got two more songs left so that's gonna be um and yeah that's it man what y'all want me to react to next man I'm not too goofy, man. I'm out of here, y'all.